Hi, I'm Lisa Bronner, and today we're going green with testing for water hardness. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, 85% of U.S. households have hard water. Now we call water hard when it contains a high level of minerals, and the most common minerals to find in our water are calcium and magnesium. It is helpful to know if you have hard water because there are specific remedies for it. Hard water can contribute to things such as a ring around the tub, a dull film in your sink, or even rust stains in your toilets. What we commonly call soap scum isn't actually soap at all. It's actually the minerals in the water that the soap draws out. Hard water can make your towels less absorbent, can put water spots on your glassware, and it can tangle and stiffen your hair. These are not dangerous things, but they're not pleasant either. Testing for water hardness is very simple. All it takes is a clear glass, water, and soap. It has to be a true soap, like Dr. Bronner's Castile. A detergent won't work. A true soap causes the minerals in the water to precipitate out. So here I have, to show you the difference, a glass of filtered water and a glass of tap water. When I add a squirt of soap to the filtered water, the water remains clear. There are no minerals in it for the soap to engage. This water is not hard. Now let's see with the tap water. You'll notice that the water is turning cloudy. There's a reaction between the soap and the minerals in the water, causing the precipitates that fall to the bottom. If you have a water softener, use this test to find out if it's working. So what can you do about it? There are several targeted steps to treat the effects of hard water. A key to keeping water spots off of your glass is either to dry your glasses and to squeegee your shower doors. Once you have water spots, you can treat them either by dissolving them or scouring them away. To dissolve them, use a half and half vinegar and water solution. This also happens to be my glass cleaning spray. You can scour them away either with a sprinkle of baking soda or with the GIY soft scrub that I demonstrated previously on my blog. Visit lisabronner.com for more tips on dealing with hard water. Thanks for joining me as we learn how to test for water hardness. We'll see you next time we go green.